Right. Okay. YouTube says I'm live. I'm going to go with that. Yep. Everything looks good. Hopefully. <laughs> Someone please validate me in the comments. Hey, Rebecca and Semma. Early birds. I do hope we are live. Otherwise, it's just me pretending to be live on my own. Uh, hello, sir. See and hear me. <laughs> Normally, there's like a bunch of comments straight at the beginning, so I'm just like paranoid now that no one can hear me. Have I done something wrong? I think everything's working. Yes, we can see. Okay, fantastic. That's good. The audio is working. I didn't do an oopsie. Whew. Okay, you're good. You're good. Hello from Cairo. Wow. Hello. All the way from, where am I? The UK. The UK. Where it is cold, dreary, and miserable most of the year. That's um, that's pretty much it. That's why we Brits are <laughs> renowned for complaining about things. Oh, not so much me anymore. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of allergic to it. <laughs> Tansky, sir, you're looking chubby these days. <laughs> You cheeky sod. Hey, I've actually lost weight, believe it or not. I've actually lost... How much have I lost? Something like 21 pounds now, I think. So yeah. Uh, sticky out tongue emoji to you. I've actually lost weight. I was chubbier, but I'm not anymore. Hopefully, unless things go wrong. Although saying that, just before the stream, I did make a bit of a mistake. I had some beef brisket, right? Beef brisket. Like pulled beef with cheese. Oh, delicious. But then I made the mistake of eating an entire block of halloumi, which is, um, what's halloumi? She I think it's sheep cheese. I ate the whole block. And then I was just, I said to my son, like, I don't know why I did that. There's no explanation for it. Yeah. So as you can imagine, I'm feeling great right now with an entire block of cheese inside me. So that was, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Roxy, hello from Bristol. Hello. That's not too far away. That's what, like 20, 30 minutes away from... Uh... I'm just outside Bristol. So my studio is based in Portishead. <laughs> right, cool. Let's crack on. I don't know if Quinton's going to join us today. It might be a little bit late, but if you joined a stream that was, I think, I want to say a month or two ago, maybe Quinton will pop in. Um, there was uh, a stream where, ugh, I can't remember what we were doing. I think I just sort of offered myself up as a logo designer to design something, and uh, Quinton was like, hey, design my name. And I think what I did in the stream was this, we sort of, this is all kind of uh, designed from scratch. So we did all the paths and everything. We designed this uh, this nice little custom typeface. Then we turned it into a, a queue for Quinton, little app icon, and we, we played around with a bit of color and that's kind of where we got to. And I think it was either that evening or the day after, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do something different with this because I had all the letters drawn by hand. I kind of had all of these paths and I thought, I'm going to, I'm going to make this taller. I'm going to stretch this out and see where I go with this. And then once I did that, I ended up with something like this, kind of like a more condensed, much taller version. And yeah, it did feel a bit uh, unfinished, Sema. You're right. I think we sort of got to a point and it was like, okay, this is cool. But once I kind of got to this point here, I was sort of looking at it and um, let me just grab a color. And it was just kind of like, hang on a second. Whoa, we're going there. We can loop that up and then we can loop that up and try and connect everything up. So I don't know what you think. 
But I ended up doing this version. Where, um, is that the right one? Or did I? Got it. White on black. There we go. Let's go with this version. Yeah, where I actually just connected it all up. And uh, I didn't want to go and connect the I and the T. I felt like that would be overkill. But... Uh... <laughs> oh, right. My relatives in Bognor, Regis and Portsmouth. I've been to Bristol one or two times. So my grandparents on my dad's side, they used to live in Portsmouth. Um, they're no longer with us, unfortunately. But yeah, we used to go down there as kids. You know Portsmouth Seafront? You've got the... Um, the the fair and the arcades and everything every time my dad used to take me and my brother there we would uh, we would go to that and just spend ages in the arcade and like go on the rides and there was this play area called pirate pete's and um like yeah like a proper kids indoor play area and uh yeah used to love that anyway reminiscing about uh, times long past Hey, Quinton! Well, I log in the stream. My name is just up there. Yeah, so do you remember before, Quinton, we did this? So we did that. That's kind of where we got to. We did the sort of Q app icon, and that was fine. But then it just kind of... Esca things escalated. And um, because I had all of... This is the great thing about when you design your own logo or a typeface or whatever like this. You have all these paths. They're all fully editable. So you can do quite a lot with them. And with a lot of these characters in particular, it's very, very easy to kind of extend them top and bottom. And this this is the kind of stuff I talk about, right? There's no pen tooling or anything here. This is, this is just literally kind of circles with a stroke applied and then a nice clean cut. And so, um, you know, I've got, I've got to live by the kind of st stuff I preach, I think. It's only right. So like the uh, using the right tools here, it kind of means that this width all the way down here is is not really good. It's like flawless. And that's just kind of, that's how I design. I'm kind of very, I guess you could say obsessed with that sort of level of detail. It's very much something I try to bring into all my work. And then uh, ooh, it was like a, like a weird little smiley face there. But yeah, that kind of ended up being the, the thing. I don't know, maybe that's... Uh, less of a tight face that could actually work and more of a logo but you love it excellent fantastic oh ben yes the arcades with the coin push machines ah oh, and i don't know if they still got it i've not been there for a long time but they used to have in the arcade like a full size sports car like a bright red sports car and uh they had like this panel big screen in front and then you had two on the side so this kind of full sort of curved screen this is going back like years by the way and uh, and you, it was like a racing game, obviously, and you'd drive the car, but you wouldn't actually drive the car. The car wouldn't move, but you'd steer the car, and it would do that on the screen. Oh, great. <laughs> Quinton's looking good, says Rebecca. Indeed. <laughs> Dan is obsessed. I love that. That's funny. There, there's a quote I love. And um, this isn't directed at you, Ben, but I love, love, love this quote. I saw it on a wall once when I went um, snowboarding. And it said, obsessed is a word the lazy use to describe the dedicated. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Hello, Dansky. Hope you are doing well today. Moosh. I am. I'm doing very well. Thank you. And thank you for joining once again. It's lovely to see you. Can you do a tutorial fast on how you cut the O in half? Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, when you've got your basic circle, <clears throat> the main selection tool is for moving shapes, resizing them. Uh, well, it would be rotating them, but obviously it's a circle, so we're not going to... Let me just squish that. There you go. You can see me rotating it. That is the main selection tool. V on the keyboard. If you press A on the keyboard, you switch over to this one here. And this is the direct selection tool. And this is used to select individual pieces of path or individual anchor points. So you can see here, if I hover over this, it's showing me there's an anchor point there. So I can grab that and hit delete or backspace and boom, it's gone. Or I can move it around and go, whoa, hey. And then I've got these handles here. 
Now, the annoying thing is if you adjust one, it adjusts the other one. However, if you hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard, you can play around with just one half. So very, very useful technique. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Nothing by the looks of it. But yeah, so that tool is very, very useful. You can also hover over a piece of path in between two anchor points. And I don't know if you can see that, but the cursor's changed to the uh, the same symbol as the reshape tool and the, exactly the same thing. You can, whoop, there you go. You can stretch it out and move it around and effectively just reshape that part of the path. So it's amazing what you can actually do with just the main two selection tools. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome, Popinda. Popinda, we've been streaming for barely 15 minutes and I've been called chubby. <laughs> and I said, I'm, I've lost weight. I'm 21 pounds down now. I've actually lost weight. <laughs> Still got like another four stone to go, but hmm. you know, progress. One step at a time, one step at a time. This body shaming shall not stand. It's fine, Ben. Um, I've been on YouTube for about nine years now. I'm, I'm pretty thick-skinned. Plus, I'm a ginger. You got to, you got to be thick-skinned when you're a ginger in this world to survive. But yeah, so uh, I think you saw me working on this, Poppy, the uh, the Quinton logo. I had to show that because I hadn't actually brought this back up, and this is like, that was like um, weeks and weeks ago now. Yeah, we are working on it. We are working on it indeed. Anyway, to today's stream. Right, so um, I really enjoyed what we did before, which was taking a quote and turning it into something fantastic, and I thought we'd have another go at that today. Um, I I would like to... I've got... A, I'm, I mean, I'm reading this book. I think I mentioned it. 5am Club. This one here. And uh, it's got all my... I don't know if you can see that. All my pink markings of lots of wise things in this book 5am club um i mean it, at the moment it's changing my life i've gone from being a not morning person to getting up at 5am or thereabouts every single day and it's incredible but uh but there's lots of quotes in there there's lots of wisdom lots of little juicy gold nuggets and i do feel like i want to turn some of those into t-shirts or hoodies and i want to wear them because they're really freaking cool lots of cool quotes so I've grabbed a few here. I was hoping to get through the book and kind of find a few more. There's so many of them. And um, yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to kind of try and turn them into something that looks attractive, that would look cool on a t-shirt. So in your morning, I'm going to throw a few down and then you guys can tell me what one you'd like to see me work on. Elevate your life. As always, this isn't planned. This is all just completely off the cuff because... <laughs> Well, why not? And if things go wrong, you just get to watch me flounder around and panic, which will be hilarious. And we can all laugh at my expense. Okay. Bulletproof your brain. I quite like that one. Own your morning, elevate your life is kind of the tagline of the book. Done is better than perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone else has some really kind of short quotes as well. Some of these are, I, I think I kind of leaning more towards the, the shorter ones, perhaps. Maybe sort of three to four, five words would be ideal. But if anyone's got some absolute bangers, please do drop them in the, in the chat. Uh, I would recommend, if you're just getting started, a mouse will take you very, very, very far. If you are more interested in more illustrative stuff and you'd like to do drawing um and you you you're happy drawing more like or freehand organic shapes yeah you could definitely get i would recommend a graphics um tablet because you then get a stylus and then you can use pen pressure to determine the width of your strokes uh, obviously with a mouse you just get you get one click and that's all you get but um graphics tablets are pretty cheap these days you can get like it you know some that cost a few hundred pounds you can get some that i know xp pen have a very they have quite a big range actually some of xp pen stuff they cost like several hundred but they also have some that are like 
I, I'm pretty sure they've got some that are under 50 pounds. They're like a lot less. And, you know, obviously there's going to be a difference between 50 pounds and several hundred pounds, but you still get a stylus. You still get access to that pen pressure. So it's, um, if you do want to use a stylus, there are some very affordable ways to get hold of a, a, a graphics tablet and then just become familiar with it. Like when I used to use it all the time at work, um, it just became my mouse. I just, I stopped using a mouse because it just felt quite nice kind of holding a pen. Quinton says, my dog wakes me up at 5 a.m. to let him out to use the toilet. <laughs> oh, animals, eh? Oh, Poppy linking the, uh, the 5 a.m. club. Nice. Oh, my family needs me. Quentin, no, we need you. <laughs> Quentin's family, please let him stay with us. Oh, well, thank you for stopping by anyway, sir. It's great to see you. <laughs> Have a good weekend, man. Passion over perfection. Ooh, that is delicious. Nice, Roxy. Nice. Passion. Perfection. Nice, I like that. Alliteration, two Ps. Very nice. Kind of like bulletproof your brain. We've got the double B thing going on. Maybe one more. One more. And then we'll put it to the um put it to the vote. We'll see what everyone thinks. Bring, yeah, bring the whole family to watch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> just keep making art oh could we get that into like a really kind of snappy catchy quote like um like keep keep creating or keep on creating or do you know what i mean like something Finishing okay is better than never starting. Yeah, I mean, very, very true. I, wa I want to try something a little bit less wordy, so something that's kind of may maybe even fewer than three words, actually, just to kind of mix it up. There's got to be some other ones in it. Let me have a look. We'll just uh... we'll see what we got. Okay, let's have a look through this book here. Ooh, what about no? What about know thyself? That's very deep, isn't it? <laughs> Make art, nice. I see what you've done there, Rebecca. Very nice. <laughs> I think instead we'll just go with just. Oh, perfect. <laughs> the truth will set you free. Wow, that is six words, but that is a very important and valuable truth and i have definitely said that quite a few times in the last few years so yes the truth will set you free beautiful you will win oh i like that one as well pave your own path oh god these are absolute bangers right i'm gonna get rid of some of mine and we'll put these ones in instead pave your own path beautiful i like that you will win no, I think five's good. We'll go with five. Let me just paste these in. I've got to figure out how to do a poll. Poll, 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 poll. Where are we? Start a poll. Which? Okay, number one. Number two. Uh, oh, can I only have... Can I only have four? Can I not do five? Come on, YouTube. No, it's going. To, it's only given me um, four slots. Okay, right. I'm going to have to drop the truth will set you free just because I want something a little bit shorter, I think, um, at least to start with. But uh, we've already got quite a long one in there. So, um, yeah, we'll start there. We'll see how much time we've got. These usually do take a little while, so... Uh, Eli is saying that he has to open his advent calendar chocolates because they are too delicious. 
<laughs> Eli, is, Eli is our three-year-old. So he... Uh, right, so Eli has to open all the chocolates right now. And the reasoning is because they're too delicious. I mean, you know, fair play to the kid for being honest. I mean, that isn't really a valid reason. Oh, we've got three of them tied at 29%. That's no good. Passion over perfection. Oh, oh, this is close. Oh, this is fun. This is fun watching this. We'll give it another 10 seconds and we'll see uh, We'll see what we get. Actually, I'll set a timer. Let's make it interesting. We'll go for 30 seconds. 30 seconds and we'll just we'll see where it is after that. Otherwise, I could just sit here and watch this all day. Oh, no, it's back to 29 again. Come on, please vote. People, please vote in the poll. We need a winner. A three-way tie. It can't be. <laughs> I can't do all three at the same time. Bulletproof your vein, pave, no, bulletproof your brain, pave your own path, passion over perfection. It's just, it's too much. Right, 10 seconds. Come on, we've got to have a winner. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> no! It's got... Right, there we go. We're going to go with passion over perfection. Congrats, Roxy. That was intense, my goodness. Okay. Let's end that one there. 39%. <laughs> it almost got down to zero and then it went back to a tie. Fantastic. Right. Passion over perfection. Beautiful. Right. Let's see if we can design this into a really nice looking t-shirt or something. So first of all, if you remember what we did last time is there's not many words, so I'm going to just separate these all onto their own text object. And uh, will we use caps? Will we not? Depends. We've got a couple of ascenders here. So we've got the tops of the, uh, no, not the P. We've got the top of the F, the top of the T and the, or the L is very tall anyway. And we've got a descender on the Y. So we do have to consider that because, of course, if I try and get these too close that f is going to collide but maybe i can just slip it in there between the o and the v don't know we'll uh see how we go sometimes this takes a while sometimes it's very quick might be able to get a quick win here and um pop that in oh that that, that f's annoying if because <laughs> it means i can't really kind of sit it centrally which is a darn shame. We could go caps. And this is what I do. I just kind of create duplicates and then I just end up with a, a bunch of uh, different options that I can kind of play around with. Maybe a bit smaller. Ooh, if I could get that L to line up with the N, that would be pretty nice. I wonder if I could reduce the tracking and cheat it a little bit. You remember what I talked about before about trying to find relationships? So I'm kind of trying to build one between that N and the L. And I've been a bit cheeky and reduced the tracking, but will anyone really notice? Hopefully not. I mean, you guys might, because, you know, we are live, but... Uh... Yeah, could work. Moose says they're just such good quotes. It's hard to choose. Yes, very hard and very good quotes. <laughs> oh, hang on. Passion over perfectly. Ugh, idiot. <laughs> well spotted. I mean, it doesn't solve my problem. <laughs> anyway, uh, unless... Or does it? Oh, does it solve my problem? Because now... I might be able to centrally align these. Or is that F still going to be a, be a bit of a nuisance? And then we'll try an uppercase one. Or... 
Come on down. Think. There's some really nice fonts, and I can't remember what they're called. I've obviously got the gelato one. This font is delicious. I've got a document somewhere with a bunch of sort of t-shirt ideas, and I've got some really nice fonts on there. I think this is one of them as well. K Kaland? Very kind of like a marker-esque font. Mm, there's a few more, and I can't think what they are. Let's try it in caps as well. Let's see what we get there. Boo, boo, boo. And centrally align. That's a nice font. Yeah, but Bebas is a it's a it's a safe start, isn't it? Very, very uh, safe. At this point, I'm not really ever kind of set on the font. We could try that to the left because I'm going caps now. We could go over. Looks a bit weird being so light. So what do we bold up one? Something like that and create a bit of a bit of variation between the two. Maybe. Maybe one where this is smaller. So it kind of puts a bit more emphasis on the um what am I saying? Puts a bit of emphasis on the two main words. We could do another version where we I mean, if we could have these sat like this, it's quite nice. So maybe we could pop this on the end. <laughs> I could like just have this on the wonk, so to speak, or rather on its side. Maybe. Could work. So you can see I'm just kind of, you know, I'm kind of really just spitballing some ideas here and just trying to get something down. Passion over perfection. Passion over perfection. Yeah, I kind of... You know, like the way you would say a fraction. You'd say one over two or, you know, three over five. And a, a fraction is typically, you know, it's very much like one over two. And you get that slant. Passion over perfection. What if I were to skew this? Oh, and by the way, when you do this, um, sorry, sheer is the correct term, but it's the same thing. Don't just freehand this like, way. <laughs> don't do that. The best way to use this tool for this kind of um, technique and to get this on a, an angle that is consistent is to select the shear tool, press return, and then enter a specific value. So let's go minus 20 like that. Now I know that that is on a minus 20 value. So if I need to reset that back to zero, I just have to do uh, the opposite, which is what, plus 20. So let's um, let's shear this one as well, minus 20. And this is still fully editable as well. There's a few different ways you can do this, but using the shear tool in that kind of numerically precise way is the best way I've found to um, get that technique. Passion. Then we could have... I mean, I don't know. Another way we could do this is, do we need to have the word over? Could we quite literally frame it as a like a fraction? I don't know if that's too subtle or not. Mm, maybe it does need the word. Let's extend. Extend this line. There we go. Kind of cool. Let's try a central version as well. Might as well. And try a version with no line. Ooh, that does look quite nice. I do like that.
perfectly must be a Dansky original. <laughs> yeah, that's a very polite way of putting it. Oh, Poppy does love her calendars, Rebecca. She really does. She gets the most insane. The, the types of calendars Poppy gets, I had no idea this was even a thing. Hmm. Alex Brush Font. Okay, let me check that one out. What do we got? Alex Brush Fonte. Google Fonts. Ooh. Tasty. Let's give that a go. See how that looks. Some uh, some fonts, they look great with certain characters and words. Some they don't. I do find the sort of more script cursive style fonts when you have like p like like as you probably saw on the other stream with poppy's um poppy's name popinda travel with popinda that that logo you know too many p's especially if you've got pp and a y is not ideal um sorry poppy it just it isn't it's a pain in the ass to work with some yeah oh glug, glug, glug. Nope. <laughs> Those P's, they're not doing it for me, I'm afraid. It's uh, its a good sort of font if you want that kind of handwritten style. Like uh, Daniel Hewitt. But, it, but it's not kind of the thing that I'm I'm looking for right now. Or, or ever. It's, it's not my sort of style. It's not my sort of style, I'm afraid. But thank you for the suggestion. Greg says, now we're cooking. Absolutely, Greg. Also, hello. Yeah, I'm quite liking this. The only problem is, um, Bebas got a few variations. It's basically like light or bold. That's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create my own version and call it Bebas something. Haven't thought of some kind of witty, clever name, but I will. And I'm adding um, a, a custom stroke which I don't know if that's a bit of a no-no or not. You can see it's already created some issues, but can I get around that by... Yeah, so one way that I've gotten around that is by rounding the corners. Um, that does round the corners of the font. So I guess I've got two options now. I could leave it rounded like that, uh, or if I wanted it like this, I would have to what would I do? I'd have to convert this to outlines, which I might be okay with. So the font's no longer editable now, but I can change the stroke alignment. So I can set this to the outside. So you can't adjust the stroke alignment if the text is editable. No, I mean, well, no, it shows you can, but you can't. Um, so you have to make the text non-editable, then you can adjust the position of the stroke. So, uh, and the thing is about this, you know, doing this can cause some issues, but I can, as long as I'm prepared to check my work, I guess, and make sure that I haven't kind of messed up the kerning or whatever by doing this, I can now make this any, any width I like, really. I can change this quite freely. So, um, as you can see, it's just that little bit thicker now. That might even be too much. I might go for something especially subtle. Mm. I'm going to go for 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Oops. There we go. Yep. Cool. Fantastic. Now, you do end up with, uh, if I expand this, you know, because I don't need to edit the stroke anymore. You do end up with this, which is very untidy, and all these paths within paths will create lots of problems. So just select everything, and then select Unite from the Pathfinder panel, and then boop, it just converts all those multiple shapes that are on top of each other into a single shape, um, which will mitigate lots of other complications happening further down the line. Passion and Perfection use the same bold font and the overusing calligraphy font on top of the Passion and Perfection, like overlapping them 
with a BG color stroke. I'm not sure that I quite understand what you meant then, but if you've ever joined these streams before, then that will come as no surprise to anyone. The letter O in the word passion is used for over. I guess I wouldn't need the second letter O. Let's have a look. The letter O in the word passion, let me read that again slowly, is used for over. I guess I wouldn't need the second letter O. Use the eyes as the dots. It's a difficult phrase because it has to be passionate and also not perfect. Ha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe spell perfection incorrectly. Maybe. Yeah, P's are the worst. Old handwriting Alex brush font that we use in... Oh, in Turkish. Oh, okay, interesting. Use the eyes in the... I mean, I think these are probably good suggestions. I'm just not understanding them, unfortunately. I do apologize. Or do you mean use the eyes with dots? Yeah, you could do. I think with sometimes I'll do that. Um, not sure about this instance, though. I mean, what I could do if I wanted to add a rectangle would be something like this. And I could shear this by minus 20. And then throw it behind. Whoop. I got to make sure I don't resize this and muck up the angle. So I could do something like this. That's quite nice. And let's also, <clears throat> I've just had another idea. Let's get rid of the stroke. And we'll try something going around a circle as well. So. Let's, let's create two circles, one for each. Now we've got the type on a path tool, which can be a bit fiddly. <laughs> Uh, is that the one I was using? It's one of these, wasn't it? There we go. We'll go with that. So we've got passion up the top. And I can double click the type on a path tool. Check preview. And spacing. Yeah, this is a weird one. So this, yeah, this tool definitely needs a bit of a, a revisit, I think. So I've, I've rotated the shape round. So weirdly, um, and this is something that happens in the course and that I explain as well, because I've rotated it, I've now flipped out, I flipped around how this works. So normally to space it, you'd increase the value, right? But now because I've rotated it, I have to actually go into a negative value to space it out. Um, also, speaking of the course, I haven't even mentioned it. Um, if anyone wants to join the stream, I actually have a course that will teach you everything I know about Illustrator. So if you want to learn everything I've learned in the last 17 years, uh, this is the course that will teach it to you. And um, I've made a lot of mistakes a lot over the years. And um, this course enables you to basically just take the knowledge that I have now, sidestep all those mistakes, and I'll sh I show you some of them in the course and how not to do things. And um, yeah, I think it's probably one of the fastest ways to learn Illustrator on the planet because the whole course is about six hours long, give or take, and um, it will just teach you everything I know and you'll get to create a bunch of graphics. There's a community and you can send me a direct message if you ever have questions or you'd like feedback on your design work, whatever it is you like. Um, basically it's just it's me on speed dial basically so if that sounds good there is a link 
Hey Dan, you just want to say I love your videos. I learned a lot thanks to you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, it's always great to hear. It's always great to hear that the videos are um are helpful. Use the two eyes to make the dots for the division line. Can you get away with putting the dot for passion on the bottom? Oh, I think I see what you mean, Rebecca. I think I see what you mean. We'll find out. We'll find out if I understood that correctly. So we'll make a line. We'll share that by negative 20. And then something like this. Zzz. Is this the kind of thing you meant? To kind of create that sort of ziggity zaggity shape. Oh, thank you, Poppy. <laughs> Hola, welcome. Oh, no worries, no worries. I appreciate you coming back to the stream. I really do. As the missions aren't open at the moment, but they will be um, in the near future. Oh, Cadogan. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look. I hold your opinion of fonts in high regard, Roxy, as you did suggest the font Blenny. Blenny Black before. I think it was Blenny anyway. Unless I've totally got that um, wrong. <laughs> Fantastic font. Cadogan. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is... Um... That is both fancy and aggressive at the same time. <laughs> it's not the kind of font that I would typically use, I'll be honest, but... Oh, it's an Adobe font. Okay, so I've got it already. Yeah, but let's, let's give it a go anyway. Let's have a look. Can at least um, see what's up with this font. So what have we got? Cad... Uh, there we go, Cad again. Obviously not in caps. Hmm. That reminds me of the, um, oh, what logo is it? Is it Porsche? Not sure. There's a car manufacturer. No, not Porsche. No. Oh, who is it? There's a car logo, and it's not Ferrari. There's a car logo that looks just like that. Blenny! <laughs> Add a, th a simple, thin red line between the words, and boom. Simple thin red line. Nice. Greg's got it sorted. Greg knows what's going on. Okay, red line. Red line you asked for, Gregory. Passion, perfection. Okay. And this is this is the thing when kind of doing this as well. I think as as designers, it's very easy to get lost down our own little personal rabbit hole. Because um, I think some of the beauty of the quote was passion over perfection, and the way that reads, it's quite quite a powerful quote. Whereas now it looks nice and it's tidy and that, but it's just passion perfection, which has a different meaning. Do you know what I mean? It's we're missing out, or sorry, I'm missing out a key part of the design. So I think actually, just now we've gone down this sort of path, I need to get the over in there somewhere. Oh, is it Ford? 
is it Ford Wild Track? One of their like uh, trucks, I can't remember. Oh, okay, so let's try this on the word over and see what we get. George, hmm. you know, that could actually work. And this isn't the type of font that I would use. But in a small kind of single word, maybe? I mean, you could even have that on an angle, kind of. You could even have it kind of chopping part of the letters out, you know? Uh, if I were to do that and then put the stroke on the outside. Like, you could have it sort of almost going behind the S and in front of the A. You could do something quite clever with that, actually. And then maybe Yeah, it's a tricky one. I'm not sure how to how to kind of play that really. I am just gonna keep kind of playing around with No, I think the angle's a bit too much. Do you think that font is readable enough? Oh I mean We're definitely playing it a bit more dangerously, Paul. I can definitely say that much. It's definitely harder. Do you know the way I would test that is I would tell someone, even if it's a friend or a family, that I'm about to show them a design. And f as fast as they can, they need to read what's on screen. If they can't read this design within about one second, then it's quite possibly not clear enough. I've done this before with designs that I think are quite um, a bit abstract or obscure in terms of what it says, and Poppy's read it very quickly, and so it kind of tells me that, oh, actually, like, you know, the human brain is very smart. It will kind of be able to uh, fill in blanks. Like, for example, I could show you the word perfection, and I could, I could do this, and a lot of a lot of times the brain will fill in the blank because there is no other word like that. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah, I think maybe I might have to have these quite big for this particular one to work. I don't like it with a lowercase o. And then should we have passion written in a different... Oh, this is hard. Let's just let's see how the word passion looks. Yeah, it's so funny. When I do this and I'm not streaming, sometimes I can literally knock these out in 10 minutes. Like I just have like an idea pop into my head and I'll just whip something up and it's just, it seems effortless. But uh, I don't know if that's just because like, I don't know, maybe maybe because I'm not streaming and trying to multitask, which is tough at the best of times. Maybe that frees up more of my brain to think up ideas. I, I don't know. It might be something to that. I'm not sure. Looks like Avon. Oh, this one, yeah. Lowercase for over and extend the lines. I know, I'm not massively, I'm not a massive fan of the... I don't really like that in over. Uh, sorry, I don't really like that in lowercase. Hmm. It's hard to read. Can 
connect the O of passion with the VE to the R of perfection. Connect the R of passion with the VE. Oh, are you are you thinking like something like that? Hmm, I don't know. What about if we go crazy with the tracking? I don't know if this will work or not. Again, just another way to kind of create some difference in the lettering. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Spontaneous sneeze. <laughs> So it's quite often um, the case that we'll use kind of different weights or different colors, perhaps. But with this, we haven't even got to different colors yet. Yeah, you know, we're not even we're not even thinking about that. But this is just another way that you could create a difference between different letters. It's not as obvious as like bold and light, for example. But you see, you can see when we zoom back out, kind of how you sort of get these offshoots of different ideas. It's kind of like a, like a branch on a tree. And you'll go down the branch and it'll kind of shoot off more and more. And you might get to the end and you've got something you like. Or you might just have to go a bit further back up the branch, back to the main trunk of the tree, and then do another offshoot in a different direction. Because sometimes, sometimes no matter how hard we try, the, the idea is a dead end. And it just it ain't happening, you know? But... Uh... We can try. We will give every idea its fair shot. Yeah, maybe something like that. Don't know. And just for just for fun, we could go and throw in a few dots, maybe. Don't know why. <laughs> Some sort of separator. Thank you, Sema. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Or a complete wildcard have passion in the scripty font. Yeah, I think I started playing with that one up here. Ooh, I wonder if you could join them together. Yeah, see those are like those are like the little sort of little accidents that I quite like. Things like line up and create gaps and you can sort of I think it's a bit much. I'm very much more into my kind of my cleaner fonts. Let's try something different. I know we did this before. Oh, no, we can't use Baskerville again. Yeah, no, I think we need a more interesting font. I'm going to just grab this one. We're going to go over here. Um, again, it's very easy to get stuck on one of those, like, branches and actually forget to kind of consider other avenues. So I've completely bypassed the, the you know, the choosing of a good font, and I've just jump straight in head first into we're using this font and trying to make it work and actually sometimes you've got to go back Ooh, that's an interesting font that's got uh, a degree of character to it it's a bit different to your normal kind of all cap sans serif font a zedo interesting oh, do you know what i would really love it's like a really elegant serif font i think i yeah i used baskerville before i like the ones that are very very thin and then go very very thick blenny i 
I've got so many fonts. Maybe this is a bad idea, but passion on top and perfection in the bottom and overwritten vertically on the left. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm sure we could make that work. We could try and slot that into like a nice little kind of tight little block. It could work. Huh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Idea, 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 idea. Let's create some sort of little modular system. So let's position that. We'll go there. Bring that down. All right, let's get this one first. And we'll drag that down. Perfection. This may or may not work. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Let's just do it very quick for now. I can be a perfectionist later on. You can probably see where I'm going with this one. And I mean, what do you think? <laughs> It's very modular, isn't it? How do you check the different fonts without the highlight around it? Uh, how do you mean check the different fonts? I've got a bunch of stuff on the right hand side that I'm kind of looking at to see what my properties are. Can you do the passion over perfection like that generic straight out of Compton logo? Let's have a look at that. And of course, there are there are no dumb ideas. Straight out of Compton. Let's see what that is. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I think that's kind of where I was heading with with this one, uh, unintentionally, of course. But yeah, I think that, that follows the same kind of similar thing to that design. So I suppose it would be something like this. Yeah, so three boxes. I um, mean, if anyone is wondering how I'm sort of moving around and navigating so fast, it's just shortcut keys. I've learned uh, like the main ones over the years and I just sort of press them and move around. I've got my hand, kind of my left hand hovering around the shift and command keys and it's just there. Space bar helps me move around like this. Z, zoom tool, zoom in and out. V for the selection tool so I can kind of move around pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, something like that. It feels very shouty. It feels uh, it, it feels like this needs to, yeah, perhaps have a bit more passion. I know a few people have said about having like the the kind of fancier fonts uh, for the for the word passion. Yeah, that's a good point actually. 
that's a good point but because we've got this nice little little modular design i can actually uh i can try that out pretty easily so we'll just take that <laughs> connect it to the right hand side yeah <laughs> passion over perfection we could even rotate this around a bit Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I just had an idea. Ooh, this could look cool. I mean, ignoring the font for a second. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Minus 20. There we go. Passion over perfection. Ho, ho. Could that work? Oh, I think it looked a bit better in my head. Unless we uh, we centrally align everything and try that, maybe. Mm. Very shouty, like a naughty sausage, indeed, Craig. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cool. Well, hello to your daughter. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh... Oh, it looked way better in my head. <laughs> that's a real shame. <laughs> Why did it look so much better in my head? Unless, no, come on, Dan. Think, think, think. I know, no. I think I know why it looks better in my head. All right, bear with me. I don't think this font's right, but I will kind of have a caps font. Um, I think what what I was thinking was let's create a five sided shape, rotate it, do that there. Then we can snap that to there. We'll snap that to there. I've got to match the size, so let's copy the height value from the transform panel. We'll paste it in. That's how we work precisely with math. Boom, there we go. And then down here, I'm going to bring this one in and just create like a like an end point. You know, like one of those sort of vector ribbon shapes? Something like this. Now I can just tuck this down here. Offset that slightly. And now I just need a triangle, which I can get from there. Let's 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 add a white fill to these actually, because otherwise they're just gonna start the lines will start overlapping and it'll give me a headache. So at least now I can kind of see how it all looks. That should be behind. Yeah, something like that. Obviously, ignore the, the janky corners. As long as our paths are all good, which uh, which they're not. There we go. Yeah, janky corners. That's um, that We can fix that quite easily. So I wonder if something like this, uh, I can do this straight to start with, but then I can put it on an angle as well. So let's drag that down and we'll flip it around. Not the text, though. Flip that back. Passion. Okay, right. Hear me out. What about this? Passion over perfection is lovely. But what about passion over perfect? Because now each of these are seven characters long and it kind of balances a bit more. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Could we switch that up? 
because that does give us a few more options from a creative perspective. Kai, welcome. Yes, I like that. Excellent. Damn it, Kai's joined now. Now I've got to make sure I use the reflect tool or I'm going to get called out, right? <laughs> Fun's over, guys. No more, no more quick duplicating and flipping. I've got to work properly now. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Sounds better than perfectly. <laughs> Yes, just because I can't. I can't spell. Look, words are difficult, okay. Uh, right, I am going to round off the corners for those shapes, just for now, just so those weird little bits aren't distracting me. We could have the corners squared off if we want to, but it just kind of alleviates that whole load of corner shenanigans there. We can just get around that for now. So, okay, this is more like what I had in my head. Um which the, because it has that sort of symmetry now even if the words aren't exactly the same length which they're not because the containers are the same length that they sit within that's what our eye is going to look at we're going to make the connection between the container rather than focusing on the words and how they're not um, perfectly aligned and if i want to if i wanted to cheat this i would be a cheeky as craig put it a cheeky sausage and i would bump up the tracking and just space the letters out a tiny bit, so much so that no one would notice, but um, it would make everything look a bit more balanced. And I'm still not totally sold on the font, but I think to sit within this space, an uppercase font would probably be a good shout. So that won't be too hard to find an uppercase, potentially sans serif font, because they're quite nice anyway. And yeah, I, th I think this might have potential. My, my, I think my, my ultimate intention is to kind of do something like this and have it on an angle. That's kind of how I was envisioning the idea. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create it horizontal because Illustrator, when extending shapes and snapping with smart guides, all of that stuff, it just works better horizontally and vertically. When you get to, to working with angles, or working on an angle, I should say, it does struggle a bit more, and it does kind of create more complexity. But even just from testing it out, I think this will look good on an angle. So let's um, let's try and nail this down while it's perfectly straight at the minute, and then we can kind of we can finesse that quite easily. So let's let's thicken that up a little bit more. And now I just got to find a nice font. And we could still use that other font. Um, oh, what was it? What was that font, Roxy? Was it Catalan? Catalan? Maybe that could fit in the middle? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, Axes. Axes extra bold. Maybe. Let's pop that over there. Put a pen in that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about a serif font. I suppose if I made the the border thinner and more elegant or stylized it slightly differently, that could work. What's that? Pebbles again. Come on, Dan. We can find something a bit more interesting. Blenny! <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Blocklin condensed. Although, if I remember rightly, the you can see the the kerning between some letters with this font. It's a nice font, but the kerning is a bit uh, a bit rough around the edges. So, um, although that is quite a nice sort of stippling effect there as well, which we could apply to the whole thing. Nequin says, make one of the words white and the big object black. Yeah, quite possibly. Quite possibly. I mean, that we, we could do that. We could play around with color as well and make this into a, a colored, you know, colored banners. But um, 
at the moment I'm just kind of I'm kind of running with this idea Ooh, what's that brother 1816 printed it's got like a nice kind of roughened effect there which we could actually do something similar to the whole um, the whole thing we could try and go for this um, this kind of uh, rough and roughened effect and I, I did see something the other day actually there's a, there's a bunch of plugins for Illustrator from a company called astute graphics and I haven't used them personally but I did see a plugin that was very good for um, just quickly adding like a, a print, a sort of rough printed edge to a to a graphic that popped up. I don't know somewhere, probably Instagram or something, and that did look quite interesting actually. So uh, there probably would be a way to do it in Illustrator, but I mean it'd be much more uh, manual versus using using a slider, which is considerably easier. Yeah, old school Mac boy. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, we do a different font for the middle. I think so. I think, and you know, I know we talked about having the word passion in a different font, maybe a very passionate handcrafted font. Um, but because I'm kind of leaning into the sort of symmetry balance between the two halves here i feel like they kind of work and the words are now the same length i feel like they kind of work better leaning into that symmetry more but then yes the word over that's where we could have something a bit different that could be quite interesting uh, okay come on let's get a nice tasty font there's got to be one somewhere cyber sans that's that's my own font if you buy the course you get that font by the way there's Dan Sands. There's the font from my logo. Dan Sands, Sparta Sands, and Cyber Sands. And um, they're all included. They're fonts that I made myself. And I I made them using Font Self. So Font Self is an amazing plugin for Illustrator. And uh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Dan Sands. Huh. Oh, maybe that could work. I mean, I do quite like that. I'm not just saying that because it's my own font. This isn't like a like a shady plug for, hey, buy the course. It's got my font and it's the best thing ever. But I do kind of like that. <laughs> we'll put a pin in that one. We'll put a pin in that one. Let's keep going. <laughs> do you know, I've done that a few times. When I'm looking for a font, I do happen to land on my font without realizing and think, oh, yeah, that looks nice. What font is that? Dan Sands. Oh, nice. Good job, Dan. <laughs> Ooh, dimensions. Someone mentioned this before. I think it might have been Quinton. In fact, this is a, this is a cool font. It's very um, intense on the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, there is actually there are different weights to this. Sorry, I'm going off on another tangent. Oh, wow. Could I line that up? Hmm. Interesting. Put a pin in that. Just keep putting a pin in all these different uh, all these different fonts. Grey cliff. Let's have a look. Kai, you did suggest lemon milk last time, and that's uh that was a good font, so Ooh, okay, okay. Let's check it out. Grey cliff. Another uh, Adobe font. What site do you use to download fonts? Oh, there's loads. You can um, you can go Adobe Fonts, uh, Envato Elements. They've got some great fonts. Um, I mean, there's always some you can get on 1001 Fonts or uh, whatever the other site is. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a free font site. 
obviously when things are free like you you know the quality might vary um some fonts there some fonts are really well done some fonts are kind of as you saw with that font blocklin their their kerning might be a bit a bit rough around the edges oh yeah i think this might be the one actually what i like about this is Oh, do you know what? I was asking, I think it was a few streams ago, I was asking f people to suggest a font that was like clean sans serif font with slight round edges. And I don't think we got one. That's that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, who suggested this? I have to give them all the credit. Kai, thank you so much, Kai. This is a great suggestion. Yeah, this is Greycliff. A very good font to have because it's, it's a clean sans serif font like many others but a lot of them don't have that slight rounding to the edges which just makes um makes it look a little bit less corporate a bit less intense a bit too clean it kind of gives it it's subtle but it does give it a bit more playfulness at least when you zoom in close <laughs> okay right over let's try something different with the over Uh, let's get that there. Zero. Oops. Oh, that's quite nice. I love this font. Gelato Lux is just rather delicious. Oh, yeah, script font in there. Or do I... Do we have different weights? Oh, look at that. We've got all the weights as well. So I could even try and... do something like this. That's probably a little bit too light. Uh, unless is there a way I could connect these together? Yeah, I don't know. Have like the word over bridging the gap. Sort of. I don't know if that looks a bit weird. But you can see we're really just throwing all these different ideas out there. Like I said, lots of lots of um lots of different branches all on the same tree. I wonder if actually I should just go with that and make it smaller. I wonder if keeping a bit of consistency might be the way to go. Or or what we do is we have a middle one. Like that. something something not quite right there one Daffont yes that's the one I was thinking of Hmm. 
Let's try let's try a different version. Oh, sorry Kai. I did the thing. Hang on. Reflect all. <laughs> hmm, maybe. I wonder, I do wonder if we could curve this actually. How this would look if I curved it with a, with an arc. Ooh, this could be quite nice. And then maybe we could warp that one minus 20. Grab that. Don't know. Let the top banner left fold upwards. Yeah, how would I do that? Um, oh, is, is that what you meant? Maybe it needs to come in a bit as well, actually. It's, it is protruding quite quite a lot, actually. Maybe that's not even correct now, is it? <laughs> that's got to go up there. Uh... Yeah, bring it down a bit. Ambigram. I've not tried that, no. That would be interesting to try, though. It pickled your brain. I've totally forgot I abandoned this design over here as well. So, um, let's just... Before we totally write this one off, what have we got? Passion. Over perfect. Uh, I need that at the bottom now. So double-click. Type on a path tool. Flip. No. How do I get that back down there? Probably have to rotate it back, but now it is upside down, but I might be able to flip it. Yes. There we go. Now, because I flipped it around the wrong, uh, the, the other way, I need to go plus 60 to space it out. Um, yeah, really weird. Align them together. Passion. And perfect. So that's cool. We could select these now and adjust the sizing together. So that could be kind of cool. Just going totally off the wall and down another another kind of path that I uh, thought I'd abandoned. And we could even close that gap and have that on a, a slant. Hmm, I think it does need some sort of gap. It's a bit too much. All right, what's that circle size? Let's copy the values of that circle size. Make a new circle. Paste it in. Centrally align them all. This can get a bit tricky because I've now got two text objects on top of each other. So sometimes selecting the right element can be somewhat tricky. Um, yeah, I think someone mentioned a minute ago about an emblem. We are moving into that sort of territory a little bit here. We got the word over.
Oh, well, yeah. not sure. <laughs> not sure about that. Unless, I don't know, maybe we're just overcomplicating this. Maybe it should just be passion over perfection and we play around with colour. Uh. So we've got like a kind of horseshoe shape there, which is quite symmetrical. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely going to bring that spacing down. I think that's too much. Sometimes the spacing's good because when you put them on a curve like this that does drop off quite quickly, it can mess around with the spacing between letters, which is known as the tracking or the, the kerning of individual letters. Um, tracking is like the letters as a whole, like all of the letters at once. So, yeah, maybe could even add an extra space manually. Oh, my goodness, I'm getting so many ideas. And some of these, I think, are a bit mental. I don't know if they're good. Um... Passion. Uh, I've, I'm getting some ideas, but they are a bit bonkers. Over, 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 over. There we go. Let's just get those there. Passion. Over. I mean, I don't know if that's just a bit mental. <laughs> have I gone? Have I gone a bit bonkers? You could always have the banner form a Z, Z like shape with passion and perfect on top and bottom. Yeah, I think I'm thinking Kai of actually having it on an angle in the end. Yeah, I suppose I could try the Z type shape now. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Vertex totally mental. It, it, yeah, okay. Marie says it looks nice actually. It's the kind of thing that I could imagine that being on a t-shirt because it's so hypnotically entrancing that it's I think people would stop and say, "Oh, what does your t-shirt say? What does that say?" And you have to look at it to read it. And it does look more like a, a piece of, I guess you could say, design. Like it's just a like a creative mess of like a sea of words rather than something very easy to understand. In fact, I do have an idea now. Ooh, how would I do this though? I got an idea, but it's gonna require me using my brain to think how I'm gonna make it. Okay, bear with me a second. Passionate and perfection. I, I do like it. Passionate over perfection. Yes, you could use that. I think I'm gonna stick with the, the shorter version though, because it's just, it's less letters for me to contend with. Oh, I've got a cool idea. I've got a cool idea. All right, okay. All right, all right. Calm down, Dan. Calm down. This, I think this might look quite cool. Inspired by uh, one of Apple's UIs. Okay, okay, right. So we're going to have one passion. And uh, what am I doing? So I need to... select the text now i need to change where this is aligned i need to align this to the center of the line 
Um, also, while I'm doing this, quick plug for the course. I do teach uh, like all of this kind of working, typing on a path stuff, um, just everything I know in the course. But the reason I wanted to mention it again is because, well, one, I'm, I, I know I do a terrible job marketing like the whole thing. Like I've made this amazing course that I'm very proud of and I don't mention it enough. But two, because a, a big part of Illustrator and some of the struggles that I've come up against over the years is you want to create a specific effect or a specific thing. And oftentimes it's like, oh, like what tool do I use to achieve that effect? And then it gets complicated when you've got to use multiple tools. So it's kind of this sort of very critical thinking thought process of, okay, so I need to create this effect. I know all the tools now. Um, so I'm going to use this one and this one, and that will give me this result. That's why I kind of, I know design is much more than just learning tools, but that's why in the course I put a big emphasis on just teaching all of the stuff, especially the stuff over there. There's like over 70 different tools. And when you know them all, it makes it much easier to kind of identify what tool you need for what job or what purpose, if that makes sense. Um, so, right, what am I doing? Let's thicken this up introduce some shades of gray so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Send that behind. Yeah, this could look cool. At least it looks cool in my head. It might look rubbish, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll go with 40. Yeah, 40. That's good. Now I've got to select that and move it out. And let's get a reference. Doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I'm aware I might be muttering to myself that that's actually the sound of my brain, like, <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Will it really good in the corner of a t-shirt? In the corner of a t-shirt where you can't see it. What are you trying to say, Poppy? You don't like my design? How could you? Yeah, it would look really good on the inside of the t-shirt. Thanks, Pops. Yeah, appreciate it. Mm. Do you listen to music while you work? Absolutely. Oh, when I when I put um, music on, I just I go wild. I just get lost in my work. I listen to mostly uh, game soundtrack music and like orchestral music, usually from video games. I love playing some video games. A uh, bit of a gamer, and um, I love yeah, just really kind of epic, dramatic gaming soundtrack music. Stuff like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne. I mean, it's it's very intense and over the top, but God, I love it. I love it. Right, a new shade of grey. How is it? How is it ten past five? Oh my goodness, my goodness, we're gonna have to make some progress here. Okay. Right, I've got three words: passion, over, over. Perfect. So let's set these up with three shades of grey. I ain't touching no colors. I'm going to stick with gray for now. And first one. So first one's going to go there. Second one is going to be. Hang on. Let's try and imagine how this is going to look. No. So first of all, I need to offset this. Now the width is 40 points, which is great because I know the width. I can offset this to negative 40. And what that does is it now slots perfectly inside. If I went positive 40, the next one would be on the outside, which I think I might do, actually. Let's do that again here. We'll go for, go for a positive offset of 40. So all I'm doing is doing a path offset by the value of the stroke. And that's going to go there. Passion over. Okay, let's not be too hasty deleting those points, but I will put a copy of that over there. Hmm. 
Now these are all strokes, so I can of course round off those caps. <laughs> nice. Are you starting to see it now? Very familiar. So, okay. Width. Let's set the width of this one to the same value. And I should be able to now align that to this. Text is a bit big, so let's uh, smush that down a bit. And now what I can do is I can actually rotate this round and I can position this text exactly where I want it to go. But before I start rotating all this freehand, uh, I'm going to set the other words up first. So copy paste. I've got to grab the height of this one. So I can then set this at that same height too. So I'm just pasting in that value. Copy, paste, get the height value, and then paste that in up there. Set the size to the same. There we go. Passion over perfect. And I could even do perfection. We could go all the way back. I might have space to play around with that. We'll go with a left alignment on all of these, just so then I can... Uh, push the if I change the text, it's not going to start sort of pushing it around too much. Ooh, look at that! Almost a perfect fit, like it was meant to be. And because these are on circles, I can actually rotate this and move this around. So you see the value of kind of knowing all the different tools. It enabled me to sort of map this out and create it in a way that isn't just like creating it. It's creating it in a, and I'm not bragging, but it creates it in like a smart way where you have maximum flexibility to still go and change everything. Um, you know, sometimes if you create it using the wrong tools or techniques or you work destructively, which is kind of permanent, you don't have the flexibility to go and change things afterwards. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you for joining the stream anyway. I'll catch you later. <laughs> nice design. Thank you, Vertex. Very cool, says Popinder. So if I got these three selected, type on a path tool, preview, they, they don't look... Ah, oh, there we go. Spaced a bit more equally now. So... Effect skew. We don't want skew. There are some effects here, of course, as you can see. Like, um, but I just, I'm not. I... Gravity. That's pretty much the same. Spacing. I might bring the size down, actually. That does make it quite small, though. That's the only problem. Yeah. And I think I'm going to have to space it out a little bit. So this is kind of the part of the process where it's really about sort of fine-tuning the design. And just getting something that you're happy with. So as you can see, we did go... Uh, a little bit wild here with these two. Yeah. I wonder if adding circles would make this one any better. Let's try aligning that. I mean, we have gone a, bit, a little bit bonkers now. Um, as far as this design goes, very, very different to how it started. And yes, Poppy, I did see your uh, comment about the Christmas fair. We are going to a Christmas fair tonight. And we're taking the kids, so I oh, I can't stay here forever, unfortunately. So there is that type of design, which does look kind of cool as well. 
I think I might prefer that actually. Um, or I could take this design here, take all these lines. They're currently strokes, but if I expand those into a solid fill and then I drop a tool of styling, I get this. So we could go for a more linear version like that, which if I had that all in white on a black t-shirt could look kind of cool. Let's play around with that value as well. Spaced out a bit less. I mean, you could really, you've got so much space here, you could really write anything. You could, you, you've got loads of space to write stuff, or you could, we could actually bump up the size of the words. Which uh, I think I will do actually. We can do that all in one go by selecting them. I mean, it's it's bonkers. I'll give it that. It's it's definitely bonkers. <laughs> Go for sixty and oh, this is fun. This is this is fun. I I don't do this enough. I really don't do this enough. This just kind of completely freely and creatively going nuts and just having fun. That's why I love kind of doing this stuff in the stream because it's like, I like I hope it's fun and sort of um, useful as well watching the stream, but it's really fun for me as well because I just can jump on here with you guys. It's always fun hanging out and it's good fun for me to actually just kind of exercise. I think probably some of the creative muscles I don't use as much as I should. Not the easiest thing in the world to read, but uh, I really like both of them. <laughs> if you had to pick one, Poppy, what, what are you leaning towards? Hey, Natty. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, guten tag, hola, bonjour, or salut. Uh... Yeah. That's a bit mental. Uh, I'm not sure I like that one too much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've gone off the deep end a bit here now. As you can see, We've uh, drifted over here. I've got a giant artboard, lots of different versions. Some of these I could go back and revisit. As you can see, I've completely abandoned this one that I think does still have potential to be a really nice graphic. And I could introduce solid colors and gradients to the banner. I could do something really cool with that. I've got a feeling that I'm definitely going to be carrying on with this off stream um, just because I think as I said to that comment, uh, old school McBoy said a minute ago, or, oh, sorry, old school MacBoy said a minute ago that um, I, I, do, I will just kind of go home, put some music on, and, um, you know, a whole bunch of different ideas will start popping into my head. Like, I've done that before with the streams. I'll literally, like, finish the stream, say goodbye, go home, have some dinner, and then I'll just get a flood of different ideas. And it's like, it, it's like, why couldn't I have thought of that when I was on stream? Like, damn it, that would have made me look really good. <laughs> uh, but I, th I think, yeah, I think maybe it is the fact that I'm obviously like right now, I'm sort of trying to multitask and kind of almost narrate what I'm doing as well, um, which I think maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe takes away from some of the sort of creative kind of juices in my brain i don't know maybe i'm just making excuses but um i i quite like this one i do like that and the fact that it, the the text gets smaller as it goes down it does make it easier to read whereas if they were all the same size uh, i think 
Yeah, it would just be a bit crazy on the eyes. Black, white, black. Hmm, yes. Yeah, maybe actually. That could work actually, yeah. Middle have that middle bit white. Black, white, black could look cool. That would take me a little while to do though, because I set these up as circles. Um or would it? Come on then. Old school Mac boy, let's give this a go. So outer one, what are we gonna do there? Black. Yep, next one in. White. Oh no, I think I was talking rubbish. <laughs> this will uh, be very quick indeed. Next one in black and one more in from that white change the text oh there we go that was much easier ha that's kind of cool that is very similar to that kind of parental advisory explicit lyrics kind of thing oops my calendar is so off these days sorry to miss you dan a log Welcome back. Oh, Rebecca, thank you so much for joining. Gotta go, everyone. Have a great weekend. You too, Rebecca. Take care. Moosh, you like this one? Old school Mac boy, what do you reckon? What do you think? Susan says, love it. Yeah, I, th I feel like there is something in this. Okay, the consensus seems to be that this is uh, this is a good one. So what I would do in this instance is I would kind of put that there and like put a pin in it, and then try and still see if I could branch off from that. I think that's a that's a really good direction to go. I don't think that's the final one. Gut feeling just says it's not the final final one. I mean, one thing we could do that'd be really cool is you see I've got this kind of version over here. If I did want to animate this, I could actually. Uh, let me select the right bits here. Don't know if I can. Let me try that. There, I could actually animate this very, very easily. So you can see I could take this from Illustrator into After Effects and have this kind of all sort of slide together. and So that could be quite cool. Yeah, I like both these versions, actually. I really do. I do like these versions. Let's go and put those two over here. There we go. Ah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's so many other versions and designs and things that just got abandoned. Oh. I mean, even this one, a quick win here. You know, I think actually this could look quite cool. Even just simple, stacked. Something like something as simple as that, maybe with a bolder font. Uh, oh, where is it? Here we go. Ooh. Oh, I know what I should do with this. Ha! I just had a really good idea. So I should, what I should be doing is going to brushes and turning this little beauty into an art brush. Stretch between guides. If you've never seen this technique before, it's going to blow your mind. I promise you that. Colorization tints, so I can add color if I want. So I'm defining this middle bit here that gets stretched. And now I should be able to draw that as a brush. Which means that I can actually select a semicircle and do that. Or if I wanted to cut it shorter, I 
I've got that. Nice. And then I could, of course, run the text in there. But it enables me to get just a bit more of curvature. Whereas I think if I if I did a warp on that, I don't think it looks as good. Yeah, do you see what I mean? Doing it with a warp. The curvature is definitely different. It, this one here feels like it's more distorted, whereas creating this as an art brush, I specifically selected that middle segment there. That's the area that will get stretched. And then what Illustrator does is everything outside of those guides, so basically on the left and right end, I'm saying to Illustrator, whatever's outside the guides, please do not distort this. So it's not going to stretch these little kind of sort of bits coming off the end. Whereas warp here, it just does warp the whole thing. And as you can see, it's kind of stretched them. But they maintain their form a little bit more here, but they're still on a curve, which is really nice. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go with that, but... Uh... Nah. Leo's being very quiet. Yeah, the reason Leo's being very quiet, Poppy, is because he's playing uh, Teardown on the PlayStation, so... And he says, if the font on Passion was thicker than the font on Perfection, it would solidify the message you could even put over in cursive or something. Yeah. How would you animate it? Um, After Effects. Bring it from Illustrator into After Effects. That's how I would do it. You get nice, nice, delicious motion blur in After Effects as well. Yeah, we did try a few different versions of Passion and different fonts. Uh... There's a few designs over here that have totally written off, like this one. I do like that. And we've got the kind of the, the modular one here. But I think, to be honest with you, all of this, the secret ingredient to me kind of really cracking this design is time. Um, it's the same with all my designs and all the, the work I produce that I'm really proud of is it time seems to be the secret ingredient. Sometimes it just comes together like that and it's a bit of a, you know, it just happens sometimes ridiculously easily. But a lot of the time it does just take time, the necessary time to explore these different ideas. And sometimes you have to explore them to know whether they do or don't work, which of course creating them takes time, so... Yeah, I still feel like there is an idea there somewhere. Using those kind of Apple Watch style rings, even if it isn't fully realized right now. The final final one looks too stampy. The other one you tweaked has multiple use scenario. Final final one looks too stampy. Which one's that? Is that the... Is this one here? That's the one you're saying is too stampy. Yeah, this was the other one I was playing with. Also, Poppy, what time do they turn the Christmas lights on? What time do they turn the lights on at the fair? You're giving me loads of ideas. I mean, great. I mean, you guys in the chat have been giving me loads of ideas. You know, a lot of, a lot of these kind of um, branches off of the main kind of path were things that, like, I might have done some, but then you guys suggested some, and it led to something else and something else. And then different font choices. So uh, it's always fun doing these streams just because, um, you know, I never really know where it's going to go and what uh, what we're going to create. 
it's fun finding out. Uh, maybe that needs to... What am I trying to do here? There's a certain type of banner style, I think, that I think I'm going for. Let me have a look. Hmm. Yeah, it's very like, ah, oh, it's annoying. I can visualize it in my head. It's very like angular. Cosmos says that's, that's, whoa, that's a real time saver. Yeah, the, uh, the the brush thing I, I assume you're referring to the brush thing yeah it's pretty um very very cool my mind is blown that is so cool excellent mind blown oh half an hour ago oh no <laughs> so we missed them turning the lights on oh never mind Happy accidents. Ah, oh, you gotta love a good happy accident, right? Meh. <laughs> um. Oh, come on, Dan. What is it you're trying to do? Let's, um. Let's, let's skew this anyway. Let's skew it on. We'll go negative 20 and see. Is it that? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to keep working on this. There's there's a design that I've got in my head, but it's like very like it's very blurry, very obscured. I can't fully picture what it is I'm trying to create. But I know I've seen this sort of style before. It's like it's ribbon styled, but it's very angular straight lines almost isometric i guess you could say it's it's frustrating is what it is <laughs> but i will get there it's one of those things that i think once i do it i'll be like oh there it is Leonardo says, what's the logo for? Uh, it's not really for anything, to be honest. Um, well, I, no, it was initially kind of to um, got so, something to go on a T-shirt, like a T-shirt design with a cool quote. Everyone voted on their favorite quote. And um, passion over perfection was what we started with, and we've kind of uh, we've gone from there, really. That's more like my high school insignia. <laughs> All the kids' stuff ends at seven there, so get a move on, you old man. Oi, you cheeky moo. Who are you calling an old man? <laughs> we could do, yeah. Uh... Oh, nice one. Cheers, Roxy. Thanks a lot for joining. Catch you later. Isometric, um, yeah, it's kind of uh, that sort of... Isometric is like that that angle and that perspective, or lack thereof, I guess you should, I could say. Um, kind of like this, minus the extrusion. I think I've just totally botched that there, but yeah, it's kind of um, that sort of thing. I know that's not quite isometric. Yeah, we could do a curvy banner, I suppose. What I could do is I could do a line. Set that line to be um, the brush. That's obviously straight. But then I could go and add a ziggity zaggity. Smooth it out. Segments. Two. Whoa, hey, where are we going? 
bit a bit long. Let's let's shorten the line. So you can see every, everything that I'm doing here is like just never, never um do the do this stuff manually. I don't pen tool this because you just you don't get as you get much more perfect uh, graphics using certain tools rather than trying to uh, sort of eyeball it with the pen tool. So for this one here, I could actually take that up. If I expand the appearance, I now get the path down the middle, which is cool. Uh, where are you? There you are. I get just a zigzag on its own. And then what I can do is I can add the text to that path, nudge it back in position, and then uh, centrally align it. And voila, we are typing in exactly the right spot. And if you've enjoyed all the little kind of uh, little nuggets that I've been dropping in, in the last 15 minutes, all these tricks about brushes and doodars and what have you, like all this stuff is covered in detail in my full course there. So if you've enjoyed uh, what you've seen, especially in the last sort of 15 minutes, um, the amount of stuff that you will learn in the course, like I honestly think you'll love it. There's just It's just filled with that kind of stuff. Like I said earlier, I've done things the wrong way for years probably the first sort of 10, 11, 12 years of my career, I did things like the slow, wrong, clunky way. Since then, I've learned like the much smarter way of learning. And that is, that's what the course covers. It just shortcuts all the mistakes that I made and shows you the best way to kind of learn things and learn Illustrator just from the ground up. Right. Passion over perfect. And we could do this on multiple banners, I suppose. It, it does feel a bit small there. Unless I pick a condensed font. Oh, wait, what about Korolev rounded? That's quite nice. It's probably not as condensed as it would need to be. Korolev, there's a really, really... There we go, compressed. And the reason that's good is because it's a compressed font or condensed, whatever. I can actually get this more out of the size. There we go. Yeah, so it's not the most rounded font. Passion over perfect. Uh, I don't think that's probably going to be the way to go, but again, it's just it's another idea, isn't it? See you later, Zach. Having fun in what you do is the key, isn't it? Absolutely. I love these little tips. Oh, amazing. Making the word perfection imperfect would work maybe like letters go down a step by step or am I overthinking no no that's a great idea or I think someone said earlier make the word passion um no no I think they said something similar actually make the word perfect or perfection make that imperfect in some way yeah in fact I think it was old school mac boy said uh jumble the and mix some of the letters up <laughs> which I, I don't know mm. right i'm gonna have to go soon because the kids will want to go to the fair so we'll do five more minutes siri set a timer for five minutes there we go i've got a five minute countdown otherwise i will never leave uh i could i, I could uh Give me enough hydration and some more fluids. Maybe even a whiskey. I could do this for hours. Although I might lose my voice at some point. <laughs> okay. And sometimes when you do this as well, it's good to take a break and just relax and go outside and look at something. Maybe a tree. I don't know. It... It's good to like take breaks and that and rest your eyes anyway in your brain. But uh, sometimes you can kind of come back with 
fresh ideas and a fresh perspective. Slap a heart over the O in passion. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you could do. I don't know. Is it a bit cheesy? Maybe not. Maybe if I did it in a in a really cool way, that could look could look good. Star Wars. Oh, I know what you mean. Very cheesy. I do like cheese. In fact, for anyone who just joined, I ate an entire block of halloumi cheese before the stream started. And boy, was that a stupid idea. <laughs> do not recommend. <laughs> oh, dear. What a lemon. is so tricky oh it's like a little person if I pop a head on there <laughs> it's a little person with his arms and his legs or whatever oh, oh no I've ruined it now hang on Let's, let's copy that over there, just in case I muck this one up. Then we'll delete the bottom half, paste it back in. Um, Where are you going with this, Dan? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's not really working. You carry personal cheese. <laughs> mm. You will be egg bound in the morning. 100% good advice on taking a break and going outside. Absolutely. Rasterizing the brain. That would be a hell of a lot of anchor points. I love that phrase, rasterizing the brain. Hello, did, do you do any After Effects course? Uh, no, I do. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't, but I've got some tutorials. But if you would like to uh, learn a bit of After Effects basics, which is kind of like a lot of stuff that I use it for is basic animation. I did do a stream about a month or two ago. So if you go onto the Dansky Live playlist on the channel, there is an After Effects one. I think the thumbnail is like purpley pink or something. And that does kind of show you a bit of in, an introduction to After Effects. The stream will be like a couple hours long. But if you're happy to kind of sit through it, um, I do kind of demonstrate how I'm doing some of the basic animation. Oh, that's from Peep Show. Oh, God, that's going back a few years. That's so funny. <laughs> you carry personal cheese. Oh, 15 seconds. Right, guys, I think we're going to have to leave it there for now. Um, yeah, good progress. These are, you know, in thinking my head, I'd love to get loads of these done in one stream, but they just so many different ideas that kind of just sh they just shoot off one idea shoots off into another and then i end up over here working on a thing and then go off on another tangent i think these are probably the front runners that's probably my personal choice i don't know why i think for this particular design i'm really i'm leaning into the more kind of linear style for this one that's just kind of where I think I want to go with it. Like over here, you can see. Whether that works on, I think it will work on a t-shirt. But I, I think in my head, I'm probably thinking something like this. And then with like a nice kind of gritty, grungy texture or a stippling effect over it. Something like that. 
Um, I think that would make a really good sort of graphic for a t-shirt. We just grunge it up a little bit as well. Very much my style. Or at least style of clothing that I like to wear. Black t-shirts with a bit of bit of grunge on. But yeah. Oh, some good ideas. And if nothing else, uh, uh, a lot of fun for me jumping on the stream with you and a good exercise in creativity. It's definitely kind of uh, exercising those creative muscles, so to speak. Are oh, you welcome, Susan? Old school map boy. Thanks, Dan. That was fun. This was fantastic, Dan. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm glad you really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, by all means, we can do this more often. Um, or we can do this next week or similar kind of stuff. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's good fun. And I love how everyone just kind of throws ideas out there and we mix it all together and pff, who knows where we're going to end up. It's a bit different than me kind of preparing something and knowing where it's going to go. It's It's all just totally... Totally unscripted fun, eh? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you so much a lot. You have a great weekend too. Brilliant. Nice one. Cheers, everyone. Oh, good fun. Right. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you. Hopefully we pop in the next week for a design review. Nice. Catch you later, guys. Bye.